All right. Uh, so this is these are some questions from Mika, who gave two hundred dollars earlier, uh, in uh, and sent in four questions, each worth fifty dollars. I've been studying objectivism, especially at the shrug, for close to ten years now. I feel I have a high level of comprehension, but I have raked my brain, and I still can't understand Dagny's statement. When she wakes up in Gold Gulch, she says, "We never had to take any of it seriously, did we?" Please help! Exclamation point. Now. This is the thing. You're not going to find the answer to that. I mean, you have to have the context for the answer to that. You can't just, the statement in and of itself is not what's meaningful, right? Remember, she's crashed, and I, and I don't want to give too much of it away, but she opens her eyes. And there's a description of the face of the man she meets. A description of the face that reflects, that reflects her entire philosophy of life, her entire view of the world, her entire, this is the face of an ideal man. A man who bears no unearned guilt. A man that knows, that has certainty, that understands the world, that has chosen a difficult course, but it has no second thoughts, that is completely, completely integrated and completely at home with himself, at home with his decision, accepting his decisions, all of them. And it just, a, a, a perfect man, completely integrated, psychologically completely healthy, no doubts, no guilt, no questions. He's got the answers. And she's just looked into his face. And what she sees in that face is the world she always dreamed of. It is the world as she believed it could be when she was a child. This is the world as an ideal. This is the world that now she sees in his face is possible. And what she grasps, in a sense, what she grasps is that this is possible and this is what's important. That this is what life's about. Life's not about the the the, the 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 challenges the 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 people chipping away at you the, I'll, I'll put it more more broad life is not about the irrational life is not about the stupidity life is not about the arbitrary right life is not about the random life is not about all the r ridiculous irrational evasive people that she is having to deal with in order to run her railroad. What the face she's looking at tells her something much, much, much better. Not even better, it's on a different scale. Like a life of perfection, we talked about perfection when I talked about the virtues. A life of perfection is possible. A life of perfection is attainable. Thank you, John. Thank you, Ian. The life that she's dreamed of since she was a child is possible. And that's when she says, I didn't have to take any of this other stuff seriously because this is possible. This is attainable. This is some way I can live. This is where... I can and will and strive to be with this man, this kind of life, these kind of values. So that is what that statement means. It means that the irrational is impotent. That what is competent 
what is what is what is good, what, and 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 what 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 is life giving, is the rational. What is efficacious is the rational. Right. So again, I'm trying to get not give away any spoilers. That that is what she means by this, right? And it's a, it's a in a sense, it's it's a sense of life response, but it's more than that because it has deep philosophical roots, and the deep philosophical roots basically are perfection is possible, and perfection in morality is what life is about, what life, what the purpose of life is. It's the reason I'm doing what I'm doing. It's the reason. I'm alive. And all this other stuff. It's just not that important in the end. Not in the big picture, not in the end, not in terms of the purpose of life. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder. Please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing. Whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>